what motivated us in the first place was when I was talking to my son about the two young ones that set themselves on fire last week, and um, the young man, Omid uh, Masumali, and the young uh, woman as well that set herself on fire. And uh, he was asking me whether it would hurt. And I was driving in the car with him at the time, and I said to him that it would be like the cut he had on his finger all over your body, and then your skin would start to peel. And at that point, he said, you know, shut up, Dad, I think I've heard enough. He was 12 at the time. And he said to me, you know, can anything be done about it? And I said to him, um, nothing. And I was about to add a pledge about not until the pain gets a heart or something like that. And I turned and I looked at him, and the look on his face was like, what do you mean you can't do anything? I'm like, that's... And um, it was a very confronting moment because I raised him that, you know, men stand up for what's right, and I raised him in particular to protect women and children. And he were two young people because of my eldest seen on fire, and how could I ever ask of him to then when I was not prepared to do anything about it myself. So it was, it was deeply confronting. And in fact, you know, so what motivated me was shame, really. I can do it by 12-year-olds.